Hello, welcome guys. My name is Jibril Drame. I'm a visual artist from Senegal. Um, I'm here um, because I represent Senegal being selected at the Chalawate 13th edition Magneto Mandalan. So I am really happy to um, showcase my movie here which is the uh, Sabo Dollar Riders. Actually, it's a series of 12 photographs and a uh, six minute movie. Um, it's exploring uh, um, uh, the exploitation of the gold in the south of Senegal and its impact on the youth. So in, 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 uh, in Sabo Dalla, the only uh, job that the youth are doing or are kind of like it's easy for them to do is uh, um, riding Okada as a delivery guy, etc., etc. While in the soil there is a lot of gold. So my idea with this project is just like to put some light on this, those, those things going on around Africa. Actually my first connection with Ghana was back in 2016 at Addis Photo Festival in Ethiopia. That's where I met Eric Jamfi, Accra Photo, Ni Obadai. So since then I've been having like a beautiful uh, connection with Ghana, with Ghana people in general. Wherever I go in, 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 in any country, um, I have that. And uh, also in 2017, I got a chance to come to for Akasa online. And um, I got a chance also like to visit Chalawate. So the food that I like about Ghana, actually, um, is um, catfish soup. I really like catfish soup. And uh, um, uh, wache. Watch it, beautiful, beautiful. And also, Ghana people are beautiful, down to earth, humble, and, and hardworking people. That's what I like about Ghana. It's a great question. For me, like art is a tool for soft power. European people know about it, so that's why they created uh, French Institute. They have created um, the Goethe Institute. They have created a lot of, lot of museums and stuff. So for me, and also like Africans, we are really visual. We are more visual than like literature, like writing. And we know that like way before the year of return, Chalawate have been around. And Chalawate bring a lot of people in Ghana. And I think like the right thing to do from actually the authorities is just like to support more. If they were supporting like 10%, uh, they need to support 300%. Um, uh, and also make sure that like they include art and visual literacy in school, but also invest in artists, not wait for uh, the artists like go abroad and be like, oh, this guy is dope. But like in the meantime, he was around, nobody supported. So for me, like uh, there is just needed like of more support from the government, from the locals, and also from the population to be involved because it's a creative economy, and in creative economy, a lot of people can get money out of it, especially the youth. And I see that like as a tool for the youth as well.